Good morning, everyone. My name is Katura Horner. I was born and raised in Lansing, Michigan, uh, currently living in East Lansing, Michigan, uh, and I graduated from <clears throat> Eastern High School back in 2015. So by the end of my senior year of high school, I had a few ideas of what I wanted to do with my life. Um, my plan was to go to school for engineering. I felt like that was the best way to support my family, just create opportunities trying to assist my family financially uh, and hopefully one day be able to support portions of my community based on the income I hope to generate during that time. So I applied to a few different schools. I applied to Lansing Community College, to Michigan State University, and to the University of Michigan. I ended up going to Michigan State University, one, because they accepted me, uh, but two, they offered a few uh, financial supportive systems. Uh, I believe I had a scholarship that supported me for four years that would assist with my tuition and my housing, which was really important to me since my family already financially struggled and I was very aware that I was going to either take out loans, uh, apply for scholarships, you know, do a work study and get a part-time job anyway. So, um, by the time I had uh, started my career or undergrad career at Michigan State University, I had applied to Sparty's as a barista, so it was going to be my first part-time job out of high school going into college. Uh, I started as an engineering major at MSU, uh, and I kept that major for about a year and a half before changing my mind. Um, and so the reason I changed from engineering uh, was due to an experience that I had because I was an engineering major. Uh, one of the classes that I took was a technically study abroad to Detroit, where I got to meet middle schoolers who wanted a mobile platform to show their hopes and dreams, to feel seen, to feel heard in their community. And so this class was bringing engineers and artists together to create this platform um, to give these middle schoolers a space uh, to be themselves. So because I was an engineering major, I was part of the technical team where we create designs, we uh, take the ideas that we've heard and try to implement them into uh, a practical sense. Um, but there were some barriers that popped up. We ended up having issues with uh, the middle schoolers feeling comfortable to share their ideas, feeling comfortable enough to, um, one, understand what was happening, but to feel a part of the collaborative team. And at the very least, we were strangers to them who were coming into their community, who were attempting to do something for them that they didn't feel was truly for them. Um, so my role changed. Uh, I ended up being one of the people who stepped up and um, developed a relationship with these students, understanding what they wanted to do, who they were as individuals, and then taking those ideas, introducing different aspects that could be created on this mobile platform and seeing if that was something they were interested in, creating designs side by side, um, giving them prompts so that way their direct artwork would go onto this platform. Um, and so this semester long class turned into a three year process. Um, and about a year in to this group, it went from a class project to being a part of the My Brothers and Sisters Keeper chapter at MSU, um, which is a club dedicated to these students, to me changing my major to criminal justice. And so at that time, my biggest uh, hiccup was trying to figure out criminal justice or social work. I felt like both of those avenues would support these kids, and I was trying to find my role at that time. So about a year in working with these students, there was a lot of concerns presented because they felt like a lot of their friends and their family were being lost to the criminal justice system. And this is something I had experienced as well, you know, family members going to prison, family members dealing with different court cases, dealing with unpleasant situations like domestic violence or substance use and not feeling like these opportunities or these 
wake-up calls were actually benefiting them. They were harming their families. They were losing their relationships. They were losing their children. They were losing their jobs. Um, and so I felt like I could be someone to go into the criminal justice system with goals and ways to change and enhance these experiences because of my personal experiences, because of the testimonies of these kids, and do something to change that system. So that's why I chose criminal justice at that time over social work, uh, and I did complete my bachelor's in criminal justice, um, and hopefully one day I'll go into social work uh, as a master's, uh, but that's down the line. But my role had changed during that time, which is why I had changed my major. I became an intern for the local district court in East Lansing, working with individuals who had substance use disorders, um, who were being supported by a program who wanted to help them reach their goals, to connect them to resources, to connect them to treatment, um, and help them with the financial aspect because I think it's well known that those who, one, come in contact with the criminal justice system have more issues than just the problem they were brought to the court for. There's a financial background, there's a mental health background, there's a substance abuse background, uh, different things that have not been addressed during their lives that if they were given the opportunity to make these changes while involved in the court system, likely they wouldn't come back. Um, and so this is what this program focuses on. And so I did that internship for about uh, three years, uh, and then I was offered a uh, position as a probation officer leading the sobriety court, uh, and I've been in that position for about a year now. So while I was in college, I mentioned I was in the My Brothers and Sisters Club uh, working to educate and connect middle schoolers to resources that weren't available in their community, you know, building relationships, becoming a mentor, advocating for them in their school, uh, and that was an amazing thing. Uh, like I said, my heart was with these students, and they were the reason that I changed my major and am now dedicating my, my future life to um, helping others. Um, I also had a part-time job. Like I said, I was a barista at Sparty's for probably two years before I became an intern at the court. Um, and that was my biggest focus. You know, like I said earlier on, I have a financial need. My family has a financial need. So I focus that energy towards um, working so I wasn't as in as many clubs. There's one thing I could tell my younger self. It would be to trust in yourself, but to also trust in others. Reflecting back, I can see how eventually I came to the right conclusions. I might have been weary to make some things. I was afraid of making the wrong choice. Um, but I also was surrounded by mentors who were there for me that I was afraid to share my story with. I was afraid to share my hopes and dreams and fears even though that's the role that I was taking for others. You know, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to look out for those mentors that are reaching out to you and waiting for you to reach out to them. They're there. That's my story. I'm still continuing.